what's up guys and welcome back to another video today's video we're focusing on the players that are leaving to go play overseas in the southern hemisphere all all the uh, different nations within the southern hemisphere argentina south africa australia new zealand are facing a player exodus where players are going to further their career overseas. Why? Because there's massive opportunities and big packages being offered to them. And rightly so, certain players are reaching a certain age where retirement is looming or they just want to, maybe they've done their bit for their country and want to further their career overseas. Or they want the best of both worlds and play for their provincial side overseas as well as the international side. Now, we know in New Zealand, it is strict rules. You've got to play, if you want to play for New Zealand, you've got to play provincially in New Zealand. Australia's also got something similar on a strict ruling. As for Argentina, I think they're the same. South Africa, on the other hand, we have lifted our ruling and um, we are allowing players to, to play both um, internationally as well as for the Springboks. Originally, it was you have to play at least 30 caps or more for the spring box in order to be eligible to be selected for the box but that rule was lifted by Rossi Erasmus and um, you know mixed emotions on it because players are just going to uh, go overseas and it just affects our curry cup our super rugby but at the end of the day it also allows opportunity for younger players to get the opportunity to play for their provincial level and go make history and make their mark in South African rugby which I think is a good thing as well if we look at some of the players that we're leaving this one's uh, specifically focused on south africa i will continue with the other nations as this week goes on if we look at south africa we've got the beast who's retiring well francois Lowe is also retiring um skull brits who played a lot overseas is also retired from a rugby i'm not sure i think he's retired from the bulls as well so we're going to be missing some talent due to retirement then we go to France. France, we've seen five Springbok players that are going to play their rugby there. Cheslin Colby, as we know, plays up there. Francois Stein, um, Andre Pollard joins, uh, which which is an amazing opportunity for them as well. Uh, Thomas de Toy from the Sharks is going up there. So there's quite a few players, as well as Eben Etzebeth, is going to further his career for, um, well, in France. So... Good stuff for them. I wish them all the best. Gutted that they're leaving um, the Super Rugby campaign. But, um, you know, these things happen and players need to focus on their futures. But um, all the best to those who played Super Rugby last year. We look at Japan. Quite a few players are going there. Vili LaRue um, has joined um, a team up there. I think it's Jack White's team, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so all the best to him there. We've got a few others. Jesse Creel has agreed to go over. Dwayne Vermeerling has gone to go over. So quite a few players have also decided to leave to go join the Japanese Rugby League. And that's going to only grow and be a big talking factor as the, we've just had the World Cup in Japan. So I think we're going to see a lot more players, as well as Aachen Stamon, sorry, a lot more players heading over to Japan from all over the world. So we need to keep a lookout for that. I know Kieran Reid is going there. Um, Michael Marks is also going, as well as Quaker Smith. Damien Delender is also leaving as well. Now we look at England. Five members of the Springboks' current World Cup squad are going. Well, we've got players that are already there, but Lua Diaco will join the ranks after his shoulder injury. He's got a long time to recover. We know Fafta Clark is there. He's been there for the South Sharks. A few guys from the actual Natal Sharks team are going over there. I know all the, the Butts, the Dupria brothers are there. Vincent Koch is obviously sticking with Saracens as we go along. Corbus Reinach has done a wonderful job for his team there. He's also staying up there. Franco Mostad continues. Um, so great stuff there. And then obviously Lowe will stick to there, but he's retired now. So interesting stuff. But who does this affect now? It affects the Bulls. Bulls have been hit hard by the exits and are going to face it. Um, a lot of challenges this year, which is sad for the Bulls' sake. But, um, you know, anything's possible. It just says, yeah, I've just read, Skull Prince hasn't announced retirement from the Bulls. So it should be, but, or no, so he's not expecting the Bulls, unfortunately. So, yeah, hard luck for the Bulls there, but they're not the only ones. Lions um, are losing also players. They lose um, 
uh, quite a few numbers as well. It's a big loss for, for them. Um, but luckily, they still have their, some of their main boykies that are sticking it out for there. The Sharks, we're, we're losing quite a few. But I'm delighted that the Kanyo Arms, Paul Nkosi and Makazolo Mapimpi are sticking with the Natalians. Because that's my team, so they better stay there, please, boys. <laughs> but we're obviously seeing Beastie leaving, Detoy leaving, and then obviously the Dupria brothers are going. So then Stormers, unfortunately, oof, there's a lot of problems there. Newlands. Um, still shattered is going to be uh, going away soon. They're breaking it down, and the Stormers in Western Province Rugby are moving into um, the big soccer stadium, which I'm kept on stadium, which I'm gutted about. But anyway, they lose Evan Smith obviously to um, overseas team in France. Um, but, but could, the key players though, Stephen Kitsoff, France Malabo, they are still there. Captain. Sio Khaleesi for now is still there, but I bet you the money is going to be on him soon. When I say that, the scouts are going to be looking for him. And I mean, Sio will be silly not to turn down an opportunity. But I hope he stays here. Peter Steph the Toy, um, Herschel Yankees, Damien Willems, so they're all sticking down. Um, and then Bongi Banambi, he's sticking with the Stormers as well. So there's some good news and some bad news. Do you know... Uh, the, the, the positive side of this, it allows player development, especially in the younger generations, which I think is a good thing going forward for South African rugby. We just need to make sure we hold on to these boykies and not allow them to disappear. Uh, but I wish all the guys who are heading overseas all the best of luck, and I look forward to seeing you back in that Springbok jersey. And I look forward to seeing a lot of new talent in the Springbok jersey as well. 2020 is going to be a massive year for South African rugby, and I absolutely cannot wait. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and join this channel because I'm covering Super Rugby and it all, and you won't want to miss it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Appreciate the support. Stay safe. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like, and I'll see you soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.